We are narrowing down our next box opening. What are we opening? Shoes. Ooh, what kind of shoes? It is our large coffin box of shoes. We have this box and one more left to open. That's it. That's it. And we're, 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 we're done. We're done after that. So That's sad. I know. It is kind of sad. So this box here, we've had since February of 2022. It's like 18 months. Yeah. We kind of... So we had a couple of boxes that just kind of got shoved into the corner and then as new product came in, we were putting it behind or in front of and so these two boxes were kind of just pushed to the side. They're just there. But we're going to get into this. I don't remember what we paid for it in the, let's say, 250 200 and that would be shipped. Yeah. I think that's what we paid for it. And there's usually like, I don't know, 20 boxes of shoes usually in here. and the company that was selling these no longer sells anything like this i think they're almost out of business now too like very mm, close i don't know if they're almost out know. of business but they they certainly are not selling the way that they used to no, they're not doing any things like this now which stinks yeah it does let you actually hold the cell phone oh my gosh i get to okay. hold the cell phone give a little preview there's our preview so you see new balance saucony saucony some uh converse hunter so let's get into this wow Ooh. i'll give you those saucony and i will match you with a pair of sauconies bigger box those are yours smaller box bigger box I'm bigger but that's a good thing you're smaller okay continuing <laughs> on men's 10.5 women's 6.5 that's a women's shoe anyway I have the one. cohesion 13 I have this pair actually you do have that pair I have that pair <laughs> I actually have this pair exact same pair same colorway I've worn things for a long time I think they they got pushed behind or underneath in my chair, I think. I haven't seen it for a while. Seems to be a common theme here with us with shoes. <laughs> I have this pair. It's, it's actually a nice pair. They're comfortable. So mine are the Cohesion 13 and a six and a half women's. So I can actually can vouch for this pair. This is your size, 10 and a half. We can have matching shoes. I can have two pairs because here's another one the exact same. Ten and a half. No. Yaw. Yeah. No. Yaw. Yeah. So, yeah. you could keep one pair and we could actually wear them at the same time. How or fun would that be? I could do, I rock one and stock one like you do. <laughs> You're so smart. <laughs> You're so smart. So he has this thing where he can't buy just one pair of shoes. He on, buys- On certain ones. He will buy two, three, four, and it'll be the same shoe. And he always says, I buy one to rock and one to stock. So if it goes up in value, then, because usually it's like Jordans and I, the nonsense Shoes stuff. with potential of higher value in the future. Yeah, that, which I don't understand spending that kind of money on shoes, but people do it. And so he'll buy multiples so he can wear one and then still get the money for another one. Or never wear the one that was meant to rock. Oh, you and do then, that too. Then you sell all three or four of them that you rocked in stock but never rocked so you stocked them so you sold them all yeah so for, for a profit so a lot of times I, you guys have probably seen his videos where he has his shoe wall behind him there may be multiples of those in other places that yes or he has sold the multiples or whatever yes so yeah we went off on a tangent <gasps> yeezy men's yeezy. size 13 no there's never my size. And not just one, but two in there. It's a 13. Wide. It's a size. It, I know, but I say it's a wide. Oh, oh my, my goodness. Oh. These are such <laughs> dad shoes. They are such dad shoes. Ooh. <laughs> I could never see you wearing those. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Um, you would never wear those. See. The excitement just went to like from like a 99 to a zero. I'm sorry. Wow. Those are just 
Those are such really bad quality too. Well, we have two pairs, men's size Oh, these are nice wide. quality <laughs> shoes. Okay, it's not premium quality that, you know, a lot, lot, lot of my expensive shoes are, but it's not bad, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's a very nice daily wear kind of shoe. It's definitely a dad shoe. Just age like 60 and up. <laughs> What's that? Thir look, look bigger. It's 13. 13. Is this an Adidas? This is an Adidas, baby. I, th I thought it was an Adidas. I've got the hunter boots uh -oh. or shoes. Uh oh. Oh. Those are different. I They're love bad. those. You'd never be able to Pre wear those. Me, you know, I, my arch is way too high. And it, look how narrow it is. I could never wear that. No, I have a very high arch. I like those but though. Aren't bad. I actually bought a pair, not uh, not this colorway, but a different colorway. So mine are white and gold, and I really like them. Feel that? It's actually not, not. That's not bad. Not bad. Suede-ish. The leather's like it's not bad. It's better than the the New Balance. And then my shoes are the Hunter, very yellow, like clogs. Ew. Well, that's what hunter boots are, honey. They're like plastic. This is the thing that makes your feet sweat really. Honey, that's that, what, ew, you feel it? That's what, you can still feel it. But when you put your foot inside of it, it's it's like lined with like a, like a polyester or something. No, I don't like it. Anyways. I don't like it. These are a US 7 women's. Right there. A yeah, they just it. need to be wiped off. I don't like them. I'm sorry. Somebody else might like them. People wear those? Yeah. Like, for fashion? This had three of my shoes in here so far size. I have a pair of it? Oshkosh. Oh, they're so cute. I have a pair of little, little boots. Little Oshkosh boots. They are a size eight toddler. Super cute. Super cute. Look at this, darling. What am I looking at? Well, look at that. Well, it might be expensive. You got some wading boots. They feel expensive. No, I do. Is that what they are? Though. Like boot waders? Like mid size 10. I don't know. They're waterproof. Well, that's what I'm saying. Is that what you do with them? You like go fly fishing or something? I, I don't or you know. just wade in the, the water? You go to the ocean and you wade in the ocean, I guess. <laughs> I guess. It might be expensive, I really don't know. Dry code is the brand. I don't know. I'll let you we'll do a quick look eBay that search. up. So we just looked up the uh, dry code boots that we just opened and it looks like they sell for 50-ish. Maybe a little higher, maybe a little lower, just depends. So. Ish. 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 Well, we do have a pair of Tims. Oh, well, those look bigger. Tim Pros. Oh, those are nice. Ooh, those oh, are they're nice. steel toe. I hate steel toes. Those are nice. They're so 13 wides too. Oh my oh, goodness. Oh my goodness. This is your box. This is like the 13 wide box, but I don't like steel toes. That? And those new balances are too are too, you are very too bad shoes. Picky. <laughs> these are nice though. If these weren't steel toe. They are very nice. These are nice. So no box, but Timberland Pro 13 wide steel toe. That's a nice Or big. a composite toe or some kind of toe. Those are very nice. Probably 100 bucks there, I bet. Probably. Probably at least 100 bucks. I'll give you those. Sauconies. And I'll take these. We have another pair. Oh my gosh. Size 10.5. I had this exact same pair. And they actually are comfortable. I have a pair of Converse Lows. This was kind of nice too. If you have a wide foot, this material here kind of stretches just just a little bit, so it doesn't like eh, yeah. hurt your foot. These are a six and a half women's, four and a half men's. All right, I'll give you those. Ooh, Clarks. And I'll take another pair of these. Oh, these are high tops. They look like oh, they've just got rub this stuff from the box. Seven and a half women's. And mine are a ten and a half women's, eight and a half men's. Is this like a jelly shoe, or what was those shoes called? Remember those shoes called jellies? Back no, when those are not jellies. That that's just a flat. It looks like a jelly. Back when 
when no. you were kids. Yeah, jelly? I know. Yeah, but those, the jellies. Yeah, but that's nothing like because my jelly sister shoes. had jellies, I think, and I always looked weird. Jellies. Yeah, we wore jelly shoes too, but th that is just was, a that, this is like a yellow ballet flat. It's like a jelly. Here, I give you a pair of Brooks. Brooks, Brooks, a nice shoe. And I'll take these. Another pair Ooh. of Oshkosh. These are a toddler's Ooh. size five. Brooks are actually fantastic shoes for running. I actually have had a few pairs of Brooks back in my younger days to run in. But fun fact, back in my younger days when I used to run a lot, my shoe of choice was Mizuno. You remember that? Mm -hmm. That was my shoe of choice for the running was Mizuno's. Mine was Saucony. Mine was Mizuno's. I have Aldo. Size 10 to half men's. This is your size, darling. This is a size eight. I don't know if they're men's or women's. That's an interesting shoe. Ten half wide. Let's see. These have to be a men's just from the look of them. I'm guessing. I don't know. I'm going to say these are men's. Size eight. I think these are made for like if you work in a restaurant. This says an anti-slip sole. Yeah. Because this sole here is very aggressive sole. Aggressive. This is not aggressive at all. This is very calm and chill. Yeah, this looks like it's meant for, for like a restaurant because back when I when I worked at McDonald's, it was very slick floor. That was like 27 years ago. It was very slick. The floor I, is very slick. I remember when I worked at Kentucky Fried Chicken way back very in the day slick. and you could like walk across, well, not really walk. You could like skate across the floor because uh -huh. it was so slick you can mop it and clean it mop it and clean it but it's, uh -huh. it's 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 never not slick it's always slick because there's so much grease okay i'm giving these to you just because i think you'll like them Ooh, air force ones size 10 and a half I have oh. Converse size 10. These are the tall all white air force ones nice very iconic shoe What's the rule with, with all white Air Force Ones? You don't wear them. If they get any scuff, any mark, anything on them, they cannot be worn ever again. Ever, never. I, that's like. Never, ever. That's like for real. With an all white Air Force One, if you ever scuff them, scratch them, anything. That's why you just don't wear them. They're not to be worn. But if you see a person that, that's wearing an all black Air Force One, you avoid that person. Why? They just. You, you just avoid that person. Why? That's just the rule. Like you don't mess that person because they're out. Who knows why? That's that is the sneaker game. Yeah. Okay. So if I put on an all black pair of Air Force Ones and I wore them out, like people would be like, "Ooh, don't mess with her. Yes. She's a bad bee." If you know streetwear and if you're wearing all black Air Force Ones, you're like, "Don't mess with her." <laughs> Seriously? True story. True story. That's silly. It's just like a streetwear sneaker thing. Okay. Well, whatever. Yeah. Moving yeah. along. I'll give you those and I will do. Okay. <laughs> pair of ice. I thought you would want these over I those. I want those. <laughs> I have a pair of Isotoner slippers and these are a size six and a half to seven. Men's 11 or men's nine, women's 11. Ooh. Converse. I can't wear Converse though. I can't wear Converse They're either. They're just too narrow. Too narrow and no arch. But I do like that they're lows and they're my size. Try them on. But they're just, they're way, I know they're way too narrow. And all these shoes actually are for sale too. Yes. You will find them listed in our eBay store. It's Franchise Liquidations. You can go to the description box below and um, it will have a link to our eBay store as well as other links to other things. Stuff. So always check our, um, our links in the description box and that will kind of take you to different things that we do. Yep. So anyway, that's, that it? Yeah, that's oh, that, it. That was actually it? That was it. Really? Yeah. Wow. We ended on a pair of slippers and Converse. Hmm. You're Time, welcome. Time that perfectly. <laughs> I should have held off on the Air Force Ones. Oh, well. So what did we learn in this video? We learned that Becky is a bad bee. If you wear all black Air Force Ones, that person, <laughs> you don't mess with them. You don't mess with them. I've never heard that. That's the rule. That's, That's that, that is the sneaker rule.
That's silliness. But if, if you have an all-white pair of Air Force Ones, you can't scuff them. You can't get them dirty. Nothing. If what? you do, they're done. The bottoms are dirty. You better keep them clean. So you got to put those shields on the bottom well, of them? You can walk, but the tops of them, <laughs> sides of them, you cannot get them dirty. You can walk. <laughs> no scuffing, no nothing. That is the rule with all-white Air Force Ones. Yeah, it's legit. <laughs> okay, whatever. Not to be played with. Whatever. All right, well, we will see you next time with another interesting, odd video. You never know what we're going to converse about. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll talk to you later. Bye.